morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are, whenever you're watching this, this is Floating in Dreams, and this is going to be my Shut My Stash for July. Welcome to everybody watching today, thank you so very much for joining me. This is going to be my Shop My Stash for July, and first we're going to go over what was in here for the month of June, and then we're going to go inside my drawers, and I'm going to show you what I'm selecting for the month ahead. Before we get into that though, if you're new here, then let me introduce myself. My name is Maika, I live in the Netherlands. I focus my channel on eyeshadow palette reviews, um, SSN Catrice reviews, and I like getting the use out of my makeup, and that's where the Shop My Stash definitely comes in. I had some products in here that I was trying to use up or hitting pan on, but because I didn't do my makeup a whole lot in June, um, I was renovating my house, so I didn't have that much time to really do my makeup. So that's why I didn't really use all of this all that much, but I am ready to pick some fun summer items for sure. So let me go over what was in here this month. So I have my eyeshadow primer. It's getting low, but uh, as you can see, the Milani one, it's getting low because we're getting to that nice, like, sunken in sort of look there. Painterly is still going strong. My lip balm is still going strong. My setting spray is still going strong, so none of that has to be changed. I had just changed up my brow pe uh, my brow gel, so that's going strong still. And I just didn't do my eyebrows enough to really use this up, but look at that small nub. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to select a new eyebrow pe pencil for sure. Mascaras are still fine too. The trusty uh, Catrice Glamondol waterproof and Maybelline's The Falsies Flare. No, lash lift. Flared is an old one that I used to use. Um, and then for primer, I put this one in uh, to replace the Catrice one when it ran out. And this is very low. I only have like two or three uses left. Um, but yeah, the Hello Good stuff was already in here as and is going to stay in here. And this I'm going to retire when it's fully done. And then another like new and a uh, new product I selected to replace something, and this is something I'm going to retire. The Nabla Regeneration Concealer in Light Ivory. I have pretty much used up. I can't really tell how much product is still coming out. It feels a lot lighter than when I first started using it, and I kind of feel like I'm just using the product that's still left in the sponge, which is a bit icky to me, so I'm going to be retiring that, but I'm going to continue using my Charlotte Tilbury corrector in the shade Fair. I have been really liking this. It is a corrector, not a true, true concealer, but in summer, I don't really like a very heavy base. So this is actually great to just cover my dark circles and then I just use foundation and I'm good to go. So this corrector, I'm going to keep in here. The bronzer I was trying to hit pan on, this is the Fenty Kilowatt, is that what it's called? No, Sun Stalker Bronzer in Into Sun. Great cool tone bronzer, I really like this shade on me. It's got a huge dent right here in the middle, you can't really tell. But when I stick my finger in, I can definitely feel it. So I know I'll be able to hit pen on it at some point, but I'm just ready. I'm ready to start using something else. My powder is going to stay. This is the Kiko Radiant Fusion Powder. I have shade 01, and we're making good progress on this. However, I do think that this is going to take me a while to use up. It's starting to finally show a little bit of wear down here. Um, so we're, we're getting a dent, but it had a complete dome, and I'm definitely wearing that down, so that's good. But before this is going to really be used up, how much do you get? It's 10 grams of product, so this is one of those powders that could last me a year. For foundation, I was using the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude, which was actually a really good combo with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, corrector, because this also has a peachier undertone, so I like that. But I actually have some other products to try as well. So I'm going to keep it in because it's one of my favorite bases for the summertime. But I do have another foundation that I would like to try that is newer to me. Highlighter then, Benefit What's Up. I go back to this every summer, it seems. So I do want to select something else in terms of highlighter. I usually have two or three highlighters in here. This time it was only one mini um, because I just I knew I wasn't going to be doing my makeup all that often. Um, and then for blush, I was using these babies, and these were lovely, like all three of these are great summer blushes for sure. So if you're looking for a good summertime blush, any of these are fine, however, this guy you can no longer get. So this is the Too Faced Sweethearts Blusher in Peach Beach. 
This was lovely. I definitely wore it a couple of times. It was a very nice, very glowy cheek look. It was stunning. The Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in Pinkgasm. Stunning shade, but I so wish that this applicator was just different. What I'm struggling with with this one is that because it's a blush, you don't use it as often as you do a concealer. So right now, I can no longer tell if it's got product coming out. And this has so much air in it, you really don't get a lot of product. So I wouldn't say that this is worth the price point for how much product you get. And then we have the Catrice Cheek Lover Oil Infused Blush. This is the star of the show. If you're looking for like NARS orgasm sort of vibes, but at a drugstore price point, this is a stunning blush. It looks a lot more warm toned in the pan than it actually is on the cheeks. Then for lips, I had only selected these two lip products to reach for, and I definitely did wear the gloss. I didn't wear the lipstick because it was a bright red, and I just had no occasions to wear it too. So this is Velvet Ribbon from Lisa Eldridge. I love that shade, but I didn't have to wear it this time. And the Better Than Fake Lips Volume Gloss from Catrice in the shade Lifting Nude. It's been my gloss of choice all year, ever seen since these launched in March. And I really like it. It's a really good gloss formula. So I was happy to be using that. But I'm going to put those back into my collection and definitely reach for some other things. And then usually I save this for the end of the video, but I already mentioned it in some other videos, but I haven't used any of my palettes that I had selected for the month of June because I just didn't do my makeup in that way at all. I didn't have a place where I could sit down and like lay down a palette. I kind of knew that in advance, so I knew I was taking a risk. So I'm going to keep the new in palettes in here the same, but I'm going to take out these three. Let me move this out of the way. Uh, because these are palettes that I've had for a while. These have been reviewed. And now that I'm like a month behind on reviews, I need to focus on trying 10 new eyeshadows for eyeshadow palettes for July in order to catch up a little bit. So I'm going to be selecting three other palettes to go in here and do a dedicated 10 palette review with newer things because I just haven't have time to go back to these older things. So it was ColourPop's Death's Taupe, Natasha Denona Gold, and Lime Crime Venus XL2. And then what I did use, but I'm going to be doing a separate video on that, um, this is the uh, custom singles palette that I made for June, and I did use this. This is the only thing I used, and also my ColourPop Super Shock and Ritz. Those I've used. I'm going to retire Ritz for sure, and I'm going to be filming a video, I don't know when, later this week or so, where I'm going to be selecting some new shades for my custom palette. I really like this. This was a great, great initiative to put all these multi-chromes in and one neutral matte. So what I was doing, put this in the crease, this all over the lid, this on the lower lash line, maybe a bit of a cold pencil, and I was good to go. And I did it for almost all of these shades, but I mainly used these two shades, the lighter ones, to top over these guys. So I believe I put Lux with Unexpected, and I put Gloaming with both, no, I put Lux with Opulence as well. So I did that combination, this combination, and that combination. So this is Grizzale, Gloaming, Lux, Opulence, and this is JD Glow's Unexpected. So this was a really successful month for me when it came to these. It Because it's multi-chromes, it looks like you did a lot, and actually you didn't. But yeah, next, uh, later in this month, you will see a video where I'm putting together a new palette for sure, but I was really happy with this one. So now we need to go into the drawers and select some new makeup. Welcome to <laughs> my makeup drawer with all of my face products. And this is usually the category I change up the most, which is why I'm definitely going to take you around and sort of show you what I'm going to be selecting. So in here, I need to select a foundation first, first which is over there. So I've decided to go in with two new foundations to try. Uh, one I already know, the Ordinary Foundation I was trying to use up last year and didn't manage. But now that this shade is getting better for me again, I think I can make it work. So this way I'll have enough time to use it up before the end of the year, hopefully, if I select it now. And then the H&M Perfect Hydrating Foundation in the shade 2N Light Sand is going to be the one that is going to be test it this month because I want to test some new makeup for sure. So we've got the foundation picks. 
I'm good on setting spray and concealers, so, and primers as well, like that's fine. Um, but then I do need highlighter, I need blush, I need bronzer, don't need a powder. So let's do bronzers first. And I think what I just want to do, do I want to go with in cream? I don't know, maybe use this one. Or the Rare Beauty, could do that, test it out. Test out the Rare Beauty as a cream option. I'm gonna test this out, see if I like it. And then for bronzer, oh yeah, this is a perfect shade for the summertime. So this is the Dior, what's it called? Um, it's the Dior Forever Natural Bronzer in Tan Bronze. And this I got over the summertime last year. And it's got a little bit of a different undertone than most of my bronzers. So I think I'm going to go in with that for the powder. Just in case, you know. Got a cream and a powder. I think that's a good selection. For highlight. What do I want to do there? So I think I should try out this ColourPop highlighter. It's from the Tinkerbell collection they did last year. It's in Happy Thoughts. And this is a little bit too deep for me, it seems. So if I'm going to be able to pull it off, it's going to be the summertime. So that's going to be my cream highlighter of choice. But then I do want to select some powders as well. Yeah, I know. I know. Again, because it is summer, I want to use this. This is Max Show Gold, which again, perhaps looks like it's not going to work for me, but I love this shade in the summertime. So that I want to go back to. I think that's it. I don't really need anything else. So I think I'm good. And then for blush, I again want to go in with like a cream or a liquid for sure. Oh, I know. Fenty Beauty Strawberry Drip. This is such a great, fun, summery sort of cor corally shade. So we've got the bright. I also want something super glowy again. Maybe go in with this. This is Magic Hour from M Cosmetics. That's a bit more neutral then. And then, oh, yeah. Let's go with Coralista for that coral moment because, you know, it's summer. What can I say? So that's it for this drawer. So let me show you what I'm putting back in the drawer. Right, so what other things I'm going to be putting in here then? I'm going to be selecting a ColourPop Super Shock. This is in the shade Little, a little quarry, quirky, quirky. And it's like this taupey bron bronzy brown shade, which I think can be fun, like a one and done shadow look for like something easy. So I'm going to put it off to the side here. This is going to be the brow pencil I'm going to be using, my favorite, the Archery Brow Pencil from Soap and Glory. It's in the shade Blonde Shell, and I've hung on to this because the only place I can buy this is in the UK. Yes, I can buy it online. Boots does sell Soap and Glory makeup in the Netherlands, but not this shade. <laughs> this is the only shade they don't stock. So, and since I'm going to London in August, it is now warranted to use up my final one and pick up some new ones when I'm in the UK. And then for eyeshadow palettes. Uh, let me show you what was in here. So what had I selected? As a bit of a reminder, I was going to be using the Blend Buddy Surge and the Dollhouse collection. So I bought these at the start of the year and I haven't used them yet. So some bright things and then this Dollhouse palette is some stunning neutrals that lean a little bit more cool tones. So I thought that was really stunning. The Adept Cosmetics Plain Jane remastered and the Ninhydrin. And then I have two Midas Cosmetics palettes. They were closed down. Um, they've This brand is no longer available, but I was able to pick some up through a friend um, when they had a massive sale. So this is the Unveiled Cool Nudes, which is not that cool, cool toned at all, but these look like summertime colors to me. So I thought I'd give it a whirl now. And then the Smoky Glow palette, which is pinks and purples. And then I also have this Kiko quad in here. This is from their Precious Rituals collection, which I tried out over the fall time, but I didn't really review this eyeshadow palette. So I did want to give it its moment to shine because it's nice quality. 
So I want to go back to that and give it a proper review. And then the three palettes that I took out, I'm going to be replacing with the Alien Cosmetics, now known as Unearthly Cosmetics palettes that I got in over the spring season. So I bought these and I haven't tried them yet. So I'm going to be using the Fall Magic, which you're probably wondering, Micah, grungy tones in the summertime. Yes, I, 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 live that, I live my life that way. But this is nice and bright, the Strawberry Milkshake. And the Lore, which I can't wait to give a try because I love the shimmer formula in here. At least it looks stunning. I don't know whether this formula is, is the same though as the old formula. So I have two of the older palettes when they were still called Alien Cosmetics. I have those, the Serendipity, which is now called the Poison Apple, and the Fairy Frolic. Those two I have in the round pans, but they've sh since changed formulas They've changed the pan sizes, and they do feel different now, as I've already swatched these and taken pictures of them. Uh, I just haven't tried them on my eyes yet, so can't wait to roll these into my Shop My Stash as well. As I already mentioned, you will be getting a video from me where I'm changing up this custom singles palette, and I definitely think that I want to do something similar again, but with different multi-chromes, or maybe some just fun shimmering shades, because that was very successful for me. So that's it. That's everything I wanted to share with you in today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make several videos every single week, so if you'd like to stay tuned for more, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye!